Part 3 Introduction to the King My new best black friend As soon as Villianano came to Quixote with Yasuke, all the town wanted to see him. A quote from the time of the Chronicles of Lord Nobunaga by Shin Chokoki. Second month, 23rd day, March 27, 1581. A black monk came from the Christian countries. He looks about 26 or 27 of age and his entire body is black as a cow. His body is really well built. And furthermore, he has a strength of over 10 men. The Padre, or priest, brought him here to see Lord Nobunaga. I am grateful to be able to see such rare things among the three countries that have never been seen before, and in such detail, all thanks to Lord Nobunaga's great influence. Recorded from the European side. Letter from Louis Frost, April 14th, 1581. Monday after Easter, Nubunaga was in the capital, but a great number of people gathered in front of Orcosa to see the Kafre, or black slave. Creating such a ruckus that people were hurt and almost died from rocks thrown. Even though we had lots of guards at the gates, it was difficult holding people back from breaking it down. They also say if we show for money, one would easily earn in a short time 8,000 or 10,000 cruzado. Nobunaga also wanted to see him, and so sent for him. So Padre Orientanil brought him with great fuss. He couldn't believe this was the natural color and not by human means, so ordered him to take off all his clothes above his belt. Nobunaga's sons also called him over, and everyone was very happy. Nobunaga's nephew, the current commander of Osaka, also saw him and was so happy he gave him 10,000 coins. And so, <clears throat> we see here the black man's fortune has turned. As soon as he set foot there on another land, from just another slave to a celebrity at once, being even exalted over the priests who were his owners or superiors, Nobunaga began to have conversations with Yasuke. As he could speak a little Japanese, he took a great liking to the man. Lord Nobunaga then threw most likely an offer the priest couldn't refuse, he purchased or received Yasuke to be his bodyguard or sword bearer. Sword bearer was a great, great honor. Imagine being the bodyguard of the King of England. More records on this. The Japanese side, Matsudoari Giyadi's Diary. May 11th, 1582. They have Ted by. It's raining. His Highness gave him a stipend. They say the Jesuits presented him. He had the black man with him. His body was black like ink, 6'2 feet tall. They said his name's Yasuke. End. And perhaps the Europeans were not happy on this matter. A letter from Lorenzo Messiah, October 8th, 1581. The priest brought one of the kafirs with him, and no one in the capital had seen him before and they all admired him. Countless people came to see him. Nobunaga himself saw him and was surprised and thought it was painted with ink and did not believe he was black from birth. He sees Nobunaga now from time to time and he knows some Japanese, so he never got tired of talking to him. And he was a strong one and knew some tricks, so Nobunaga was very happy. Now he's the, his strong patron, and to let everyone know, he has someone show him around the city. The people say Nobunaga will make him a Tano, a lord. And so right here, I mean, wow. <clears throat> you can almost hear the animosity at the end of their voice through that text. A slave, a black man, has surpassed us all. Europeans and may even become a lord here? Blasphemy. 
Further animosity between the two groups is legitimized by the fact that the entire time there is no mention of Yasuke communicating or even going back to the priest willingly, which begs the point, did he want to leave his previous masters? More on the acquisition of the black men. Two points could also be fueling Nobunaga's wanting of the black man. One, this showed Nobunaga could produce things from outside the world to his people as recorded in the Chronicles of Lord Nobunaga by Shincho Kokuchi. And two, it is possible that the huge uproar to the response of an actual black man is that of the Japanese legends of Oni. Oni are depicted as orange, blue, and brown and very large and scary. So the thought may have been Lord Nobunaga has an Oni, more greatness to the name of the true ruler of Japan. And so an Oni is a demon. So it would be like a president coming through with a vice president with wings or something, you know, think it's an angel. So it's part of their myth already that a dark, large, scary, mythical creature <laughs> and Lord Nobunaga now has this large, scary, dark creature. And it was shocking. And you can see why Nobunaga would want this. Uh, maybe there were some other things, some actual attraction or whatever. Ever, but uh, there was a reason and a need for Nobunaga to uh, want Yasuke. Uh, you have a 6'2 black man as a bodyguard. It's very scary. Very scary if you've never seen a black man and you see a large 6'2 one. And the average man is 5'8" and you had this sitting next to you, people would shriek, people would be scared. And then, you know, people actually greeted Yasuke and been happy about it. So it was also a positive thing. This was a, a man leaving a world where black is evil and terrible from the European and the Muslim world into the East. And he's now a free man, exalted. He's a hero, a rock star. This had to be great, and this had to be a whole nother world, and then priests were most likely upset about that and did not like that. Thoughts? And... battles. Some people say Yasuke was uh, not in a battle. So let's look at the record. The battles while Yasuke was employed by Lord Nobunaga. February 3rd. The Odo army led by Neyogoshi Mori departed from Gifu Castle and entered Shinono province via the Kengoshi and Inakado roads. The frightened lords of the surrounding areas surrounded to the Oda army one after another surrendered to the Oda army one after another. Additionally, Mount Eshima erupted on February 14th. The eruption of Mount Eshima was originally feared as a sign of something terrible or bad happening, and the moral of the Takeda clan declined greatly, causing even more people to defect to the Oda army. February 16th, the Takeda army, led by Imafuku Masia Kazu and the Oda army led by Kiso Hiyoshimasa clashed the Tori Pass. The Oda army is victorious. February 18th, Oda Nubunata e Obu Nubutada invaded Ida. Mado Hoshini, the lord of the castle, fled to Takato Castle, and Kateyori's uncle, Noburono Takida, who learned of this, also set fire to Oshimo Castle which was a key point in the war, and he fled. And so whether Yasuke was at those battles is not, in, is not clear, but for sure he was employed while massive battles were going on. So as a military man himself, which he most likely was as a bodyguard, uh, him going on a campaign with another general is not far-fetched at all. So can we say he's in the battles other than the final? Yes. We could say the man was employed by the Lord and he went into battle, most likely, at least once. Uh, it was it was bad in Japan at this time. It was popping. There were so many clans against so many clans, it was anarchy. 
there were battles and wars everywhere. So he just stepped foot on a landmine. It'd be like, you know, going into a Middle Eastern war zone somewhere. You're going to get in it. Just going through the trade. Going to get conflicted. So that's more likely and logical that he was in the battle. 